How's it everybody? So we're back talking some more The Last of Us on the channel, episode 2, dropping the night on HBO. I adore this show already. As a huge fan of the video game franchise, I think it nailed everything about it perfectly. The first episode, the pilot was spectacular at capturing the essence of what made the game so special. And the fun really had just begun at the very tail end of the first episode with Joel, Ellie, and Tess leaving to go drop off Ellie to the Fireflies. Unsurprisingly, episode 2 continues to build such a fantastic foundation for for this series going forward. It was also just pretty awesome to me as a fan of the video game that this episode was actually directed by Neil Druckmann himself, one of the co-creators and writers of The Last of Us. So there's really no doubt in my mind that the man knows what he's talking about. His directing, for this being his first ever time directing a live action series of any kind, it was pretty solid. I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be a running thing all throughout the season, but I'm really liking these chilling opening flashbacks and getting more of a backstory to the core set virus and its origins. This week's it was in Indonesia. Really chilling stuff here. I thought it was wild that the lady is literally just like bomb the city. I am really glad that we got a lot of great moments here between our cast of characters, Joel, Ellie, and Tess. Obviously, there is that bit of hesitancy now because they know that she's been bit, so they think she's going to turn infected one way or another. But it leads to some great banter all throughout this episode with Joel and Ellie in particular that I really enjoyed. We are still in that very early development stage between those two, so they're not really that friendly with one another. They are still poking at one another, but I quite enjoyed it. We're only two episodes in, but I think Bella Ramsey he continues to show people that they are perfect for Ellie. The personality, all of the jokes, the sassiness, she's faking that she's turning, all of that stuff to me at least, that feels like Ellie from the game emulated into live action. Touching upon more of live action, it is so surreal to me how they've recreated the destroyed dystopian Boston and cohesively blending together the parts of the game and all of the tension-filled moments in each of those sequences. I don't know about you guys, but I was on the edge of my seat all throughout this episode, particularly when they are in the building. Going into this week, I was excited for many different reasons, but one of the big ones is we were going to get to see some clickers in action and they did not disappoint they look very accurate to what we saw in the video game it's actually astounding how accurate they look and they are genuinely terrifying every single time we get a sequence with them in this week's episode even regardless of knowing the outcome my pulse was racing this entire sequence watching them try and hide and evade and eventually having to fight a couple clickers after a while of course we're going to praise pedro pascal and bella ramsey a lot but i think the real big winner of episode two is is Anna Torv, who plays Tess. She was awesome. I think she's just as good as the character in the video games, and even bringing some really interesting layers to the character that we didn't get to see a whole lot of in the game. And it just sucks that we don't get a whole lot of time with her, whether it's in the game or in this series, because she gets bit and she sacrifices herself so Joel and Ellie can continue the mission. And just like it was in the video games, I was just you know, my heart was in wrenches when she said, save who you can save, and then she sacrifices herself. This type of sacrifice, though, was a little bit gross. Having this weird kissing moment before the explosion occurs, uh, I didn't need that moment. <laughs> that's probably the moment that's going to stick out to me the most, is the clicker kiss. Uh, I don't know what Neil Druckmann was cooking up there. But overall, I am very excited to get to the next episode. I imagine that's going to be the Bill episode. I've heard a lot of hype about episode 3 being great, so I am excited for that. But now you heard my thoughts on episode two of The Last of Us on HBO. Make sure you share your thoughts down below. What did you think of this episode? Did you like the episode? Did you not like the episode? How are you feeling about the live action interpretation of these events from the video games? In particular, the clickers. Those clickers in live action, to me, were horrifying. And did you feel the same way? Did you not feel the same way? Share all your thoughts down below. It's part of the fun this time in the conversation with you guys in the comments section. Thank you guys for always the videos. I always do appreciate it. Make sure to like on the video and also subscribe to the channel. So always update reviews, reactions, unboxings, and more. Next time, I'll see you guys later.